cannot even believe I'm saying this, but I'm headed to the airport tomorrow for a flight to Miami. If you guys have been following my travels, you know I have been bouncing around a lot in the last month, like non-stop. I was in New York, then London, then Switzerland, Manchester, and now I'm home again, but tomorrow I am off to Miami. This trip is definitely the most last minute thing I have ever done. I am very much a planner and I like to, you know, think of months in advance, but this opportunity fell into my lap literally last week and it was confirmed about three days ago, so I could not pass up this offer. I am so excited to be going on my first ever Virgin Voyages cruise. 2024 has already been an insane year when it comes to my social media, especially the last month getting to work with two hotels, both in London and in Switzerland, and now I am going to be working with Virgin Voyages on this upcoming cruise. They are sending me on a cruise to create content, and I have no words. I am so unbelievably excited and I genuinely cannot believe it. You guys know I work for Royal Caribbean, that is no secret, um, but I have always dreamed of experiencing a Virgin Voyages cruise. So this was an offer I absolutely could not pass up. Fun fact, I've actually only ever taken one cruise as a guest and it was when I was like 13 years old. Since I have worked on board, I have only been on a cruise ship during a contract. So this is pretty exciting because I am going to be cruising as a guest, which is gonna be an entirely different experience for me. And not only that, I'm gonna be experiencing a different cruise line. So I've pulled all of the things I'm gonna be packing. I am planning on bringing just a carry-on and a personal item on the flight. I don't wanna check a bag and I really don't need to because it's only a five-day cruise. Quickly running through all of the dresses I'm gonna be bringing. I've got this little black and white polka dot one from Princess Polly. I've got this gorgeous pastel yellow one from White Fox Boutique. This is a brand new dress I just got from Princess Polly. Super excited to style this one. There is gonna be a scarlet night when we're on the cruise ship, so everyone is supposed to dress up in red. So I did pull this dress. This is also from Princess Polly. Really, really love this. Nice and fitted, and it has kind of like an, an asymmetrical hem. I have pulled this maxi dress. It's like a wrap dress, but I think it is so beautiful with all the flowers on both sides. Gonna style this with some nice gold jewelry and some heels. I have pulled two sets to pack. Sets are always just super easy to throw on and they look really nice. So I've got this little green one. So this is the top with this maxi skirt. And then this is the second set. So this is the top. And then I have a matching little white skirt. I packed some more casual outfits for during the daytime, which I'll wear like over my swimsuits because I presume I'm gonna be living in my swimsuits. I've got these little shorts with this little loose flowy white top. I'm also packing these cute little blue boxer shorts with a little graphic tee. It's like a continental breakfast sort of thing. Super cute. I'm also packing this little jean skirt. So it's a skirt in the front and shorts in the back. And to go with that skirt, I have this little printed top. I also grabbed a more casual set to go over my swimsuit. So this is what it looks like. It's a long sleeve button down and then corresponding little shorts. Super cute, super slouchy, and they do have like little anchors and fish on them. So I thought it was festive. I am gonna be bringing five swimsuits. So these are the ones I settled on. I'm super excited because I got a bunch of new suits recently. So definitely gonna take them for a spin. I do also wanna keep up with working out when I'm on the cruise and I've seen they've got some fun classes and a really nice gym. So I have packed a couple different sets. I thought it was easiest to pack as outfits because then I can just grab them and go. So we've got four different outfits. I presume I won't be working out on the first day. It is nighttime now. I have packed everything into its respective cube and thrown it in the carry-on. Carry-on is ready to go. I've got my shoes, my tripod, my undies, socks, swimsuit clothes, the whole nine yards. Everything is in here aside from my toiletries, which of course I'm gonna use tonight and tomorrow morning before I leave. But the bag is feeling really good. It's actually not very heavy. Like it has some density to it. I'm not gonna lie because obviously it's filled with clothes, but for what it is, it's not bad. I'm also gonna bring my trusty 
travel backpack. Right now it's completely empty. And the good thing about this is that I'm pretty much packed aside from obviously all my camera stuff and my laptop. So that really is going to be all that's going into here. I did grab one book, like physical book that I'm gonna bring. This is The Lion Game. I haven't read it, so I thought now would be a good time to bring it. But yeah, I'm feeling good about where we're at. My flight is at 10.38 tomorrow morning. So I think we're gonna leave the house around 8.30. I now have TSA pre-check, which is phenomenal. So that is going to definitely speed up the process and because I'm not checking any bags, should be a breeze. We're gonna manifest that tomorrow is a nice, smooth travel day. I debated whether or not to wash my hair tonight. I have decided against it because tomorrow we're traveling. So um, I can do it tomorrow evening in the hotel. But I cannot believe it's happening. I'm really excited. This is definitely the latest I've ever packed, but you know what? It's okay. It's a quick little trip. It's a five day cruise. So we're going to be in and out. Just going to double check everything in the morning, but feeling really, really good. <laughs> myself seriously looking like this <laughs> but it's another night of the heatless curls I never really put a lot of effort into how I look on a travel day but when my hair is looking nice I just feel like it makes a big difference so I'm gonna sleep in this and hopefully have some nice waves for the travel day I have been working like a madman but I'm so happy because I got everything done that I needed to I had a lot of editing and some emails to get through. So I sorted all of that out. So I am all ready to go for my trip, but I'm gonna hop into bed, read a little bit of my book, try to finish it actually, cause I only have a couple minutes left and then I'll be going to sleep and probably waking up pretty early tomorrow just to double check everything and not have to rush. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm about to head out the door and make my way to the airport. I'm really excited to use my TSA pre-check for the very first time. I did my global entry interview upon arrival when I was traveling from England last week. So it was approved and I already got my ID, which means for like the next five years, I get to go through TSA pre-check, which is gonna make my life a whole lot easier. So, so let's head to the airport and get ourselves situated. Okay. Don't forget this. Where's George? There she is. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Oh, first time. I'm excited. I'm in the lounge. I have a good amount of time here until my flight actually takes off, which works out great. Um, TSA pre-check is the best thing ever. The fact that I could go through security in like three minutes, did not have to take a single thing out of my bags. is just amazing. So definitely happy I have that. And now I'm gonna just have something to eat because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Have a coffee, have some water, and then we'll make our way to the gate. Got some scrambled eggs, an English muffin, and a little bit of fruit. It's time to board the flight. I'm literally group nine, the final group to board. So I'm chilling for now. It's a little rainy outside, so I'm looking forward to some sunshine and hopefully getting some color.
would like to be the first to welcome you to Charlotte where it's currently 12.14 p.m. starting boarding in two minutes so I stood up because I couldn't hear the announcements really from where I was sitting but turns out it's now been delayed again so we're not even supposed to be leaving for another hour so I'm just praying and hoping that we actually leave at 315 because if this flight is delayed again I might lose my mind and I'm just starting to stress a bit because I need to make it to Miami. <laughs> like, absolutely need to make it to Miami today. The sooner the better. But I don't know if it's an airport issue or if it's American Airlines. Either way, I'm trying to stay calm. But this airport is insane. There are just people everywhere. It seems like every single flight is getting delayed. But the weather seems fine outside, so I really don't know what the problem is. So relieved to be here I was really nervous that the flight was gonna get delayed even further or even canceled so I'm very much relieved I did have to check my bag at the gate so I will have to repick that up but Calm has made it so he's waiting for me so I have to am I going the wrong way anyways we're gonna go meet him get our bags and then head to the airport and I'm so excited to see him it's literally been a week but hello Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you so long. Hey. Okay, so we have to find you. Is this for me? Oh, you dropped it. So I was proud of myself. Tried to get you rolled in. When he meets you with your coffee order, how sweet. But it's for Kalen, not Callum. Callen. It's like Cal. <laughs> Woohoo! We got the bag. It was an irrational fear, but I was worrying that they were gonna leave it right at the door. But they, they did, in fact, remember to pick it up. Our shuttle is here. I have to say it's really weird to fly into Miami and not be signing on a contract. I'm very, very much confused. Made it 
into the hotel room. It's quite nice, actually. It's literally around the corner from the ho um, from the airport, so I thought it'd be perfect. Um, and they do have a free shuttle service to the port, which is the best part. I just noticed you're like in the corner of your head, just like laying comfortably. We're just staying here tonight, obviously. Tomorrow we have the shuttle at 10.30 to go to the cruise port. Our check-in time isn't till very, very late. We couldn't get an earlier one because it was kind of a last minute reservation, but we can at least drop our bags and then Virgin offers like a free shuttle to the downtown area. So we'll just spend the day in downtown Miami, which will be great. Welcome to our hotel room for the evening. It's actually quite spacious. So this is the door. We've got some papers on the floor. Don't know what they are. Oh, pizza. Pizza ads. This is the bathroom. It's really nice. It looks brand new, to be honest. Nice big shower. This is a huge shower. This is the bed. We've got the bed, little chair. And then this is our view. Not too shabby. It's not much to see, but you know what? It's fine. We took our shoes off and I just realized we're wearing the same sneakers, which I bought us. It was a Christmas gift, but we did not plan to wear them at the same time. We're walking to dinner. We've decided on IHOP because it's quick and easy and it's really close to the hotel. We're just walking there and I love breakfast for dinner. So that's, that's what's happening. I gotta give him the real American experience. Yeah, I'm looking pretty rough, but it's time for a really nice, well-deserved shower after a very long travel day. I mean, it wasn't that long, but it was longer than it needed to be. Let's just leave it at that. We're gonna wash the hair, do the skincare, and then we're gonna unwind because tomorrow we're signing on the ship and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. signing on our first ever Virgin Voyages cruise in a couple hours and I'm so excited. We woke up bright and early. Like I literally woke up before my alarm at like 6.45 and I slept quite well last night but I kept waking up in the middle of the night I think just from anticipation. And yeah, now we're just packing up our things. I mean, we really didn't unpack but we're just getting ourselves sorted and we will be on our way. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna do an entirely separate vlog of our experience on the cruise. So definitely subscribe if you're not already because that is going to be the next upload. But thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to bring you along for this new adventure. And I hope you have a great day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.